Okay, um, can we first agree that enthusiastic and motivated staff are likely to produce enthusiastic and motivated students? So in any discussion about the student experience, I think it's important to look at the experience of staff. And I don't think there's anything in the current SESI that addresses this directly. There is, however, a problem looming, I think, which is the demographic currently in their 50s, who, are, who had always thought of retirement of being at 65 for men and at 60 for women. So women are particularly hard hit by this the prospect of an extra six, seven, possibly even eight years of work, when at the beginning of their careers they anticipated retiring at, at, at 60. This creates a problem for Brooks and for every other major employer, but Brooks is in no way unique in this, which is how to motivate uh, people in their 50s in the run-up, and how to keep people creative, energetic, innovative, right through their working life. And this, of course, will impact on students. Quite how we do it is absolutely up for grabs and needs a lot of support. It could be something to do where we could include sabbaticals, secondments, semester on, semester off, exchanges, or simply time off to go and do something completely different, but to come back refreshed, innovative, with new ideas. Um, the staff demographic illustrates that this could become a big problem for Brooks. Currently, there's uh, whatever it is in their 50s and the 20-something percent. In their 60s, there are 8 percent or so. And this number is likely to increase. So there is a pressure of time on it. And I do think that by acting, or at least beginning to think about it now, Brooks can be ahead of the field. And we will benefit not only staff, but students as well.